Hey guys, it's Hannah. Six common myths about people living with bipolar disorder. These myths and stereotypes prevented me from accepting my diagnosis of bipolar 2 disorder. I felt like I was alone and it definitely prevented me from accepting my diagnosis, which I think it does to a lot of us. So please share your experience down below in the comments section. Myth number one, bipolar disorder is just mood swings. People have this idea that those of us living with bipolar disorder are like Dr. Jekyll, Mr. Hyde. And in the span of five minutes, we go from sad, happy, jumping, on the ground, crying. And it's like, no, it does not happen like that. In my experience living with bipolar 2 disorder, the highs and lows are more extended and periodic. Although I do have mood swings, it's definitely not like what people think. Myth number two, we've all heard it, people with bipolar disorder are violent. False. Only three to five percent of violent acts can be attributed to those of us living with a mental illness. Myth number three, bipolar disorder is a rare condition. Yeah, right. Bipolar disorder is not a rare condition. Bipolar disorder affects around 5.7 million American adults. That's not rare. Myth number four, people with bipolar disorder can't work. False, it's actually estimated that around 75% of people living with bipolar disorder work. Although there are so many people living with bipolar disorder that have not received treatment and are unable to work, we are still capable of doing so. And it's so important that people know that. Myth number five, Bipolar disorder cannot be passed down genetically. False again. When I was diagnosed with bipolar 2 disorder, one of the biggest things they looked at was my family's history. And my grandmother lived with bipolar disorder and really suffered with it among other people in my family. So it can definitely be passed down through the genes. Myth number six. This is one of my favorites. Bipolar disorder is curable through healthy eating and exercise. When I'm dieting and exercising, I am very connected to body and mind. So I'm not doubting it at all. But is it a cure for bipolar disorder? It's not. How do I know that? Because I've been exercising and dieting majority of my whole entire life and I still landed in a mental hospital. Proof is in the pudding. These are six common myths that I know about as someone living with bipolar disorder, but I want to hear any ones that you have. So please, please share those below. And I've talked about stereotypes and stigma before, so subscribe to my YouTube channel and check that out. I will see you next week. Bye.